so you want to keep us all flavorful and light. There, <laughs> in that egg we just lightly beaten, we're going to add some pesto. Adding the pesto to the eggs allows you to distribute it properly. It's not going to have lumpy flavors. It should be throughout the eggs, as you can see. And you make your own pesto in-house? We make our own pesto. We make everything from scratch. We're from a scratch restaurant now. Uh, we've evolved to this process over the years. And we make our own sausages. We make our own bread. We make our own pestos. We make everything from scratch. Back to the frying pan. I'm going to add some mushrooms. Because we like mushrooms, we've got to put some in there. And so do you want me to uh, stir those up for you, Bob? Yeah, cook them around a little bit, stir okay. them up. Now I'm going to add some tomato concasse. We're going to cook that up a little bit. I see them a little dry there, so I'm going to add a little more liquid. Everything tastes better with a little bit of butter. Yes. Actually, a lot of butter. I'm going to take over now. Let's get some chicken. I'll take that for me. There you go. Now, this is the uh, interesting part. This is where the, the difference in the omelette. As it sets on the edges, I'm going to pull it into the middle and let the uncooked egg go around. I'm also bringing it to the middle to give it some puffiness, like I'm building it up. Now that is a little bit of a tricky part, flipping it. It takes a little practice but this way you get a nice soft inside without being raw. So bring it back. You see that now? That, 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 that egginess is gone with a flash. Now I'm going to add the goat's cheese. It's for rolling out. 